to have you back here in this new video. Today is an important day for the whole 360 camera industry. As you might have noticed, the Insta360 just have announced something, something like it is a bomber. Here it is. This is the brand new 360 mod with dual one inch sensor. Yes, you have heard it right. The dual one inch sensor. Finally, they have worked it out. You might wonder. What are the real differences in between this conventional 360 mod and this brand new 1 inch 360 edition? Well, honestly speaking, the only thing that is different is everything. So everything has been completely redesigned. So want to know more about it? Keep watching. My name is Yijin Guo, my YouTube channel. It's an elegant 360 photography, video, accessories, and some cutting technology. Just want to give you a brief recap on this company and their 360 camera product lines. This is perhaps the first interchangeable lens system for 360 cameras. Yes, you have heard it right, the interchangeable lens 360 camera. I just have a lot to share with you about the history of the Insta360 360 camera product line. It's a really a long story for Insta360 to finally reach the dual one inch Simul sensors. For most of the worldwide customers, the Insta360 was famous for their 1X. That is the first generation of Insta360 1X with dual 1 over 2.3 inch sensor, and that could deliver 5.7K at 30 fps. That is perhaps the best 360 action cameras on the market that rivals GoPro Fusion. You know, GoPro Fusion was the world's first 360 camera that has a built-in stabilization. They call it hyper smooth. And that, that just drive me crazy. The workflow for GoPro Fusion at that moment is way too hard. Uh, so GoPro Fusion looks like a two individual fisheye camera that stick them together to get this. And 1X was the first fully integrated design that has only has one micro SD card, one battery, and twin folded optic system. To its twin folded optic system, there's no offset in between the two lenses. And by that moment, the Insta360 also has a giant step forward on their app, studio, the whole workflow. So that is when this company really went viral in this 360 camera industry. Insta360 guys, they are really working hard on their product. They just don't stop there. And I remember it at the New Year's of 2020, and they finally released the first, the world's first modular system for action camera, that is Insta360 ONE R. The ONE R, you know, this is the 360 mod that come with Insta360 ONE R. Insta360 has finally added the H.265, the HVVC codec, that increase the video quality of the 360 mod. So even the spec seems pretty similar, but the overall quality is much better. So they have add a really some big update to finally improve the color science, the audio quality, and overall the workflow has been a lot easier compared with One X. It finally makes 360 camera even more accessible to our customers. Back in October 2020, the successor of One X, that is the Insta360 One X2, has come to the market with pretty similar spec, but this time, this 5.7K 360 camera has been redesigned from ground up. Even though they have exactly the same image sensor compared with 360 mod, but the chipset, the ease of use, the user interface, and the overall imaging quality has been completely redesigned. So the One X2 is actually even more popular compared with One R. And they add even more capabilities on the One X2, such as the Pure Shot. You know, for One R, the Pure Shot is still absent. And I have used One X2 for most of my 360 content creation, and this is perhaps one of the easiest 360 camera on the market. And they overall increase the battery life and they have a broad range of accessory system that finally make this One X2 a lot more powerful, much more accessible compared with One R and the One X. And don't forget, Insta360 One X2 was the first 360 camera built with spatial audio system for the customers. And time flies in 2022, the Insta360 launched their Insta360 One RS. It's an interchangeable lens action camera that has a better in every aspect, the better 4K mod, 
uh, even though it has the same 360 mod, but overall the performance uh, is a lot better, especially the onboard microphone, the battery life, the, the, the plastic cage, yes, and a lot more. Uh, if you want to know more, you can refer to my previous video. You might be wondering which upcoming of the Insta360 One RS motor system, what is the future of 360 cameras? The 1 over 2.3 inch sensor is not that juicy anymore. So the only thing that we can do for 360 cameras is to increase the sensor size. And, and that's right, the Insta360 finally increased the sensor size and they have put two one inch sensor inside this camera lens structure and it's co-engineered with Leica. Dual one inch sensor could deliver 6K at 30 FPS. The performance is even better compared with this tiny little guy. And it is better in every aspect because it looks pretty similar with the same core module, but it has been completely redesigned. So coming next, we're gonna dive really deep inside this dual one inch sensor. We just want to explain that everything I have learned from the past few months, because I have beta test this unit for quite a long time. And I think finally I can share something with you before we dive really deep inside this Insta360 ONE RS 1-inch 360 edition. I just want to give you a brief unboxing of this brand new design because uh, it is quite different from the previous ONE RS modular system because on the front of the package, you can see clearly that it's written down that it is now an interchangeable lens 360 cam. It's not an action cam anymore. It is the first time that the One RS modular system has multiple choices on the 360 lenses. Now we have one over 2.3 360 mod, and this one is one inch 360 edition, co-engineered with Leica. That is a dual one inch sensor. It is quite brilliant design by Insta360, and I'm really glad to see they finally make this happen and put it on the market. Just want to give you a recap on the previous edition. This one, it's One RS 10 edition interchangeable lens action cam. And with the 4K edition, it's also interchangeable lens action camera. But this time, this time, take a look at interchangeable lens 360 cam. So this is the first time for Insta360 and also the whole 360 camera industry. Uh, why it is co-engineered with Leica? Because its optical design has been completely redesigned from ground up. It is quite different from CD1, but it's a sumicron structure. That is uh, a Leica's famous optical design on their uh, prime lenses. And uh, you can also notice this from the back picture. This one is a quick start guide uh, with all the graphic design. But I would like to share with you everything step by step. So I'm gonna share with you a much more detailed demonstration of this quick start guide. And lens class, a beautiful design with Insta360 Arashi Virgin Company Limited. So this is actually a limited edition lens cap. A warranty card, a sticker, SD card slot cap, uh, designed for the One RS core module. Because with the dual one inch sensor, now there's a brand new vertical battery. So uh, just like an ordinary vertical battery, this is there's no need to put on this SD card slot cap. But we also install some other lenses, such as the 4K Boost or 1 inch edition. Uh, you have to put it back to make it uh, IPX waterproof and dustproof. There is a quite large silicon lens cap, really soft. And I have been heavy due to use this dual 1 inch sensor for quite a long time. So you can see it's not that clean anymore. So I suggest you wash them out and yeah, just frequently. So to best protect your dual one inch sensor and optics. So the lens is huge because there's a dual one inch sensor. So physically speaking, you have to put to jam into a larger glasses. So as you can see from the, the front, uh, this is a super sumicron slash a optical structure because this is also a kind like a twin folded optic system. So the, the lights travel inside the front glass and with a mirror, uh, reflect to left and right respectively. So this is a that is how Insta360 make this happen. And so the field of view for each of the lenses 
are 200 degrees. So this is a default setting for most high quality 360 lens design. It has a best compromise in between the field of view, the stitching quality, and the overall imaging quality. You can see the aperture is f2.2. There are six glass, and some of the glasses are spherical design. So that means these spherical lenses control the chromatic aberration and to maintain a relatively higher imaging quality. 6.52 millimeters equivalent with f2.2. So it's a fixed aperture, just cannot change the aperture value. And it also has built-in flow state stabilization. That is to say, uh, in this lens module, uh, instance receive also jam uh, IMU sensor. So you can use flow state stabilization after post-processing. And you can capture with 6K at 30 FPS at most performance. They have exactly the same socket as the 360 mod, but you can see the lens structure is much larger compared with this previous 1 over 2.3 inch sensors. Watch out, you have to really carefully protect the lenses. To rem you don't want to scratch the lens because the lens are huge. It is more vulnerable than ever before. And a brand new vertical battery base. The vertical battery base has more capacity, a more, a more output power, at the same time, the same size, and a much more powerful USB-C port on the side. Well, to remove the core module and the vertical battery, you have to remove this protection door at first because it has a rubber silicon that can lock in the vertical battery, so you just cannot put it out. And also make this whole body waterproof, dustproof. Unlock, take it out. As you can see, this is the ONRS core module, and this is a new vertical battery base. So compared with the previous design, the vertical battery, you can see now they have exactly the same texture, the same size and shape, but this one has 1,350 milliamp. It is a lot more power compared with this one. This one is only 1,080. So it's around 20 more percent capacity with exactly the same size. It's the same bottom design. And for the USB-C port, it only support charge. And this one support 10 watts fast charge. At the same time, you can use this Type-C port to uh, data transfer and it also extend a vertical mic adapter and quick reader as well. So this is definitely a multifunctional USB-C port and it has a lot more improvement and also the indication line on the side. It's, so that is to say it is really hard to insert a micro SD card on the slot because uh, you have to tear down all of these pieces and insert your SD card. Uh, another interesting detail in design that is the vertical battery also has a slot on the side. That is to say that is because the One RS core module has a microphone on the on this place, and then we insert with the vertical battery. As you can see, the microphone will not be blocked by the vertical battery. So, and from other design, you can see right in the the power button, the shutter button, there's also a wind wind muff. The wind mouth to protect uh, this microphone. On the front side, there's a slot that you can see. You can see there's a microphone, a speaker, indication light. They all are vulnerable to the air. But overall, you're gonna have a much better audio quality compared with the 4K or the one inch edition. Because uh, with a lot of great new design on microphone, it's a better firmware upgrade. And at the same time, when you vlog yourself, when you talk to the camera through this camera, this microphone, you're gonna end up with the best possible audio quality. So you're gonna check out all the sample footage later in this, this video. Protection plastic will also be doubled as a heat sink because the front side is a heat sink material. It's not ordinary plastic. And you know, and uh, you you should notice that the one RS the on the front face and also it is a heat sink for the Winner's Core module. So overall, it get a much larger heat sink compared with the Winner S with the official uh, plastic cage. The door is also removable. So after removing this door, you can insert the uh, the brand new mic adapter and the brand new quick reader. They also have it cross compatible with One One X too. When you remove the USB C port, you can add a vertical mic adapter or vertical quick reader. For the mic adapter, the quick reader. They are cross compatible with One X2. So this is a basic structure and they're decomposed of the Insta360 One RS 1-inch 360 edition. When you put back on the 
360 lens, large 360 lens, locked on me pace. Now you are good to go. So this is the overall the unboxing, and we're gonna tear down this this also structures. Uh, I, I think you should notice a lot of great new design in the detail. Another interesting fact about that is a protection glass on the side of this modular system. They also have this glass, and diagonally it is uh, 25.4 millimeter. Just it is just a one inch. It's, not, it's just a one inch. But you should notice that for the one inch image sensor, the diagonal distance is 16 millimeters. It's not uh, 25.4 because. Uh, when we talk about one inch sensor, we are talking about the, the vacuum tube uh, years ago, decades ago. So while it's a one inch vacuum tube, you can fit inside a one inch image sensor that has a maximum diagonal of 16 millimeters. Overall, that is okay. And it is a nice design and it makes this 360 mod more beautiful. Okay, so now let's go to the next section. Coming next, let's talk about some exclusive features you can only get on Insta360 One RS with the 1 inch 360 edition. You know, I am crazy about 360 photography, and first, let's talk about this photography capability. Uh, this dual 1 inch sensor could deliver 21 megapixel images with raw DNG format and also with burst capture and even more secret weapons. So with 21 megapixel, you get 6.5K resolution on the long edge, and you get pure shot. You get everything you have on One X2, on the One RS with the conventional 360 mod, and everything just been a lot better with the one inch sensor. Because one inch sensor is four times larger compared with one over 2.3. You get plenty of light, you get a big aperture, and with a super summicron structure, obviously, you end up with a much better imaging quality. Without doubt, you get the premium quality. Now you get a superb low light performance through this one inch sensor. So you can just literally uh, capture the 360 images in low light performance and the maximum ISO you get from this one inch sensor is uh, 6400. So, there's a lot of potential for you to take low light photographs in low light, and you know, with the help of the pure shot, you also get noise free images even in the super dark situation. It's like to put some computational photography tricks inside the action camera, 360 camera, and now this magic works on a bigger image sensor. The, the pure shot, which I love on the One X2, is now even better. You can now capture pure shot in HDR bracket shooting mode. That is to say, in HDR shooting, now we have a new option called the pure shot, a pure shot HDR that can bracket shot in every raw images and your mobile platform with just a post process on every raw DNG format with pure shot and then merge them all together to build a high dynamic range photographs that you end up with 14 bit color depths. That is it's a lot of that is a huge potential for post process, and you can uh, you can burn back more detail in the highlight, and you can also increase to see more detail in dark shadow areas, and it looks almost so noise free. So the pure shot HDR is actually another killer feature for this dual one inch imaging sensors. Well, with two one inch imaging sensors inside this 360 edition, uh, the videographers should also be satisfied by the premium video quality. Just imagine what you can get from the Sony that V1 that only has a single one inch imaging sensors. The video quality is just superb. And now you get similar imaging quality on each of the lenses and the sit together, you get the 6K at 30 FPS at most. And with over 100 megabit per second bit rate, yes, and the overall performance is just superb. The flow state technology has built right inside this dual one inch sensor that you get a battery smooth stabilized footage straight out from your app or the studio software and with the ray frame capability uh yes just this camera is just superb even you if you want to vlog with the dual one inch sensor and the audio quality is also much better compared with this structure because the engineer has 
uh, arrange the two hardware differently. On this industrial design, the engineer has a better protection for the three microphone system. So this dual one inch sensor has an even better overall audio quality that is usable straight out from the camera. These are some of the exclusive features that only come with the dual one inch 360 edition in such slim form factor. Together with the Insta360 Dual 1 inch 360 edition, and now we have some unique accessory design specific for this setup. Here's the most exciting new accessory for this Dual 1 inch sensor is actually this one, this tiny little guy, uh, Insta360 One RS invisible mic bracket for Rode Wireless Go or Go 2. So I'm so excited about this mounting bracket because it just elevate the audio quality, audio performance of the One RS to the next level because it has a very good combination in between the Rode and the Insta360. Of course, this accessory was designed by Yulanzi and I also am so lucky to add some input for this accessory design. Full metal body uh, consists of two parts. Come along, also have this uh, TRS to TRS cable. It's very short and vertical mounting and insert straight mounting option. So this is what you're gonna get inside the box. Okay, to fully squeeze audio quality, you also need a vertical mic adapter designed by Insta360 and Cinova. So this is a brand new vertical mic adapter, uh, fully compatible with One RS and the one inch mount. Rode Wireless Go 2, this is a receiver and transmitter. And you should notice that the transmitter also have internal recording, uh, very high quality as well. To use this mounting option, you have to remove this SBC door on the side. And you first, you should mount this mounting bracket. And second, mount in the vertical mic adapter lock in place. So it's really tight and it's very solid. And now you can see, you can prevent this mounting bracket from falling off. And you also get to charge this camera with via this USB-C port on the bottom. Next one is to mount this road wires go the receiver in this orientation. So you can see the two slots. It's fully compatible with this coat shoe mount with the silicon dot on the bottom. Just mount in this option. And here you can see uh, the dual one inch sensor has a very large blind area in the intersection of their field of view. So this is fully visible in your final shot. And it just located in the center of this lens structure. The high quality, this beautiful glass, it are very vulnerable to metal. So the designer is so clever, they add a silicon rubber in between this mounting frame and the glass to fully protect your one inch sensor glass. So this is also a very nice design in detail. Come next, you mount this TRS cable with a vertical mounting option on the top and insert this one on the bottom. So this is gonna get the final setup for the invisible microphone with Rode Wireless Go 2 the invisible mounting bracket, vertical mic adapter, and the one inch 360 edition. If you want to record in, in your 360 shot, you now have this uh, two edition invisible selfie stick. They all have exactly the same length of 1.2 meters, but with this refreshed new design, you can see it's a much shorter and even thinner compared with the conventional design. So actually, Insta360 have secretly upgraded the design of their professional invisible selfie stick. Altogether, they have seven sections and has, when full, fully folded, it is only uh, 23.5 centimeters. So it's uh, six centimeters shorter compared with the previous one, and it's even thinner compared with this one. So, and it's also a lot lighter. Is 190 grams, so it's really light. Also have this conventional accordion mount thread on the bottom. So this is my default invisible selfie stick now with the One RS modular system. You know, with the One RS modular system uh, and vertical battery base, now we have even better audio quality with onboard story microphone array. But with the Rode Wireless Go microphone, uh, the Insta360 software engineer also have optimized its performance together with the Rode. And you, you with the setup, you get the the best possible audio quality. And with the internal recording capability of this World Wireless Go transmitter, you also have a backup soundtrack for more possibilities in post-processing. So this is by far the best 
the best of vlogging setup, the best of for live stream with one inch sensor 360 edition. So this one, this setup is is much better, way better than the C D one. And it finally squeezed out every little potential in between the video quality and also the audio quality. And so this is my favorite accessory design for this one inch 360 edition by far. If possible, you should get an extra lens cap. Sometimes people will be lost, <laughs> we, we, we lose their lens cap. So you can also purchase a standalone lens cap on the Insta360 website. Uh, another pinpoint for this motor system with the one inch edition is the, you know, uh, the SD card slot. So it's really hard to remove this SD card slot on this camera because the SD card sit on the back of the touch screen. So it's really hard. So this is where you probably need this vertical quick read amount for your one hour one inch edition. So with this one, I can insert my SD card and insert on the side of this camera. So I can record my 6K 30fps footage right inside this external SD card and I can remove the card really quickly. Ever want to increase the audio quality, you can also you can the quick reader connected. You can also use this World Wireless Go transmitter as a standalone audio recorder on your pocket. So actually there are unlimited possibilities with the One RS with the modular system with the one inch 36 edition, uh, with the quick reader, the mic adapter, the invisible mounting bracket, the new invisible selfie stick, the brand new lens cap. And don't forget Insta360 also has a power selfie stick to charge and remote control this modular system from outside to inside. Uh, so with the upcoming of the one inch 36 edition, uh, I am so excited also because there are a lot of new design accessories for the system. It definitely will make One RS with a one inch sensors more accessible and much more powerful. So I really love this accessory design. So I'm so glad to share with you all this tiny little update together with the manufacturer and the Insta360. I think you might be wondering what is the real world performance of this one inch 360 edition. So come next, I'm gonna take this camera to real world test to test the, the video quality, the audio quality, and overall the photography capabilities. I will try to uh, shoot videos by running with selfie, trying to vlog with 360 mod, and I will try to capture some low light samples. And also I want to explore the performance of the PureShot HDR. You will see a lot of real world sample footage for you to evaluate the real performance of this One RS 1 inch 360 edition. And now I'm recording with this dual 1 inch sensor 360 edition of this brand new One RS modular system. The audio here right now all comes from this native onboard microphone and you can evaluate the flow state stabilization performance while walking down the street in our daily lives. So to speak, um, whether this One RS camera has exactly the same performance of this conventional 360 mod, and I just want to test an even more challenging situation, whether I will rotate the camera. As you might have noticed, the stitching line is changing dramatically. Um, now recording, the, 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 the point of view is actually around uh, one meter away from my head. So you can see this stitching quality. At the same time, you can see the flow state performance, whether the camera is constantly change the orientation. And I can even change the orientation by bones upside down, vertically, horizontally, and by rotating along the invisible selfie stick. And another thing I want to share with you is that I'm now recording with the external quick reader that you can literally save all the footage inside your external SD card. So when you want post process all the footage, you don't have to use Wi-Fi connection and you don't have to use cable data transfer because with a uh, fast USB 3.0 SD card reader, you can copy and paste the data lightning fast. So this is perhaps the best workflow, the best performance. You won't have the, the premium quality from the shooting, the post processing, and ease of use. The, the audio you are hearing right now all comes from this onboard Suri microphone pickup pattern. Personally speaking, I think this one inch edition with a vertical arrangement that has a better audio quality compared with the One RS Plus 4K boost mod. 
because this vertical arrangement has better protection for the microphone and they also upgrade some firmware that it can improve this one rs core module audio quality from the ground up i'm now sitting on the grass to give you some stationary uh, imaging quality for you to evaluate the real potential of this imaging quality come next let's walk with the one inch edition uh as you might notice the weather is pretty damn awesome because right after a heavy rain the weather is crystal clear and this is perhaps the best light condition for the shot in everyday life as you can I notice on the front side you see some shadows reflections and the beautiful the mountains the sky the, the cloud everything is quite vivid dynamic and I'm walking with the One RS 1 inch 360 edition. So the audio quality, the video quality, everything you can evaluate by yourself. And considering we have a much larger image sensor, so there's a huge potential for us to capture some content with premium image quality while recording with the One RS Core module. And the One Core module is much powerful compared with the, its predecessor. Because after three years, finally, Insta 360 has catch up with their optical design, with their image processing, with their hardware software workflow. Thus, make this One Inch 360 edition the easiest module for our 360 content creator. And also, you know, Insta 360 famous for their workflow so with that means this one has one inch 360 mod together with the core and new vertical battery is perhaps one of the easiest 360 camera that could deliver the most exciting imaging quality for video imaging photos videos audios simultaneously it is also really challenging for the 360 camera to stabilize the footage now let's test if we change the orientation horizontally, vertically, or even top down, how is the performance of the flow state stabilization? Whether you can see some artifacts, whether the image quality has some issues in the final results. By that means, you know, the 1 inch 360 mod has a bigger lens compared with conventional 1 over 2.3 inch sensors. So literally speaking, you have a bigger blind area that you say sometimes you have to be really careful about the shooting spot, the arrangement of the teaching line. And at the same time, there's a larger space for you to hide something in the blind area to make even more accessory visible in your final shot. That is why the ULens have designed the brand new Rode Wireless Go the microphone system, the L bracket for the 1-inch mod. Uh, this is a, it's just a very impressive design and I think in the future there must be even more amazing accessories that fully utilize the big blind spot in between these two fisheye lenses. That is one of the most tricky part for the 360 camera design, manufacturer and the accessory system. To test out the dynamic range of this one inch sensor because you can see my face locates in the shadow area and this is sound just very bright so in this video you can literally capture you can literally evaluate this dynamic range of the the sony one inch sensor at the same time this you can enjoy the flow state stabilization just now recording with this one rs one inch 360 mod in the uh, very contrasty area just want to test the real dynamic range performance of this one inch sensor because my face is actually in the super dark area while on the, on the background is a beautiful sunset. So it is around about uh, maybe after half an hour, the sun will come down. But at this moment, uh, the light is very beautiful. At the same time, you get to see the performance of the real dynamic range of this dual one inch sensor. Because by contrast, I will rotate. As you can see, my face light up by the, the sunset. And this is actually a very easy scenario for the one inch sensor, but 
this perspective is quite challenging. So you have to use a bigger sensor to bring back all the detail in 6K at 25 FPS. Okay, just now I have captured the raw DNG format in pure shot in this high dynamic range situation. Although my face was lighted by the sunset, but you know, this is actually a huge dynamic range scenario. And I'm also captured with the auto bracket shooting and with a brand new option called the pure shot HDR. The pure shot HDR is actually another step forward for the conventional HDR shooting pipeline because it captures multiple shots with auto exporter bracket and every raw DNG format uh, has will be applied uh, will be post processed in a pure shot AI algorithm and all this high quality raw DNG data has been merged together we finally we obtain a 40 bit card apps a stitch stitch 6.5k raw DNG file with this 14 bit card apps and the stitch result you get a lot of potential in dynamic range that to say you can bring back more detail in the highlight and with almost a noise-free imaging quality in raw DNG format. This is actually another key feature for this Insta360 ONE RS Dual 1-inch Edition. forget with dual one inch sensor, the sensor is bigger, the optics is a lot bigger as well. That is to say you have a lot more space in this stitching blind area. With inside this blind area, you can actually place a more accessory. That is why the ULNZ and Insta360 they co-engineered to deliver some very clever accessory for a wireless microphone, for light system. And coming next, I will use this Rode Wireless Go uh, Invisible L bracket for the one inch mount to test out the performance, audio quality for this combo setup. Calling with this brand new setup of this dual one inch sensor with a vertical mic adapter, this L bracket, the Rode Wireless Go 2, the wireless microphone system. Actually, this is a transmitter and that is a receiver. I'm now trying to stay of pretty far away from this camera, so you can evaluate the audio quality. So I'm now going to <coughs> stand up and try to go far away from this one RS camera. Uh, as I have learned, uh, as far as I know, the Insta360 engineer has put a lot of energy to maximize, to optimize the audio performance of this Rode Wireless Go incompatible with the Insta360 one RS modular system. Actually, they have upgraded firmware to make this audio sound better. And this wireless microphone system, this both the transmitter and the receiver, they are pretty thin, so they fit really tight in the stitching blind area. So now, both the One RS and One X2, they all have the best invisible wireless microphone a solution for the 360 content. So this is pretty awesome for Insta360 and for us content creators. I'm now captured with the dual 1 inch 360 edition, 6K, 30 FPS. As you can see, it start raining again, so I'm gonna quickly escape this forest. As you can see, this huge dynamic range. The beautiful sunset, the texture, it's quite dark on the ground, and it's raining, so let's go to another place to test more shots with this dual one inch mall. So as I'm walking through this forest, you should probably notice there is something uh, beautiful sound from nature. And it's quite dark at this part. So you can see how the exposure performance, what, what is the performance of the stabilization. Do we ever notice some motion blur? And as we move slowly to the, to the ground, Let's test it out. And it's getting 
more and more beautiful at this moment. And this is also an ideal place to test out the 1RS Dual 1 Inch 36 edition. Hey, look at all these puppies. <laughs> They, they, they definitely are. Uh, they are definitely quite interested in the 360 mod as well. Did you see that? <laughs> I, I think they, they are definitely very interested in this 360 mod. They have never seen a lens like this. Oh, <laughs> maybe they, they are hungry. <laughs> but this, this 360 model was not made for it. Actually, I think. Have been wondering what what is this monster? What is the selfie stick? Okay, let's take some other shots. Everyone, follow me. You might notice you want to find something to eat. Okay, let's test out what is actually the footage looks like. Well, uh, in this scenario, in this place. Um, things got a lot easier because on the ground it's been light up by the light in the sky there's no really dark area but when I'm walking towards the trees you, you might probably notice there's a lack of detail uh, in the trees because they are really dark and these puppies they come along with me every day everywhere I go <laughs> never. We are we are close friends actually, but uh, we never know each other <laughs> before the <this> session. <laughs> but I, I I don't think they know anything. I, I I don't know. I don't think they know anything about 360s photography or video shooting. But the uh, they, they are they are. <laughs> it seems like they enjoy their lives. They, they don't worry about anything. They just <laughs> enjoy their lives. <laughs> yes, that's definitely a, a great example to test out this one inch sensor for the E360 1RS. It's definitely a great, a great footage to show the image quality about, and also this is a quite vivid and interesting object subject to capture by this lens. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. It's raining heavily right now. I'm going to <laughs> go back to my house. Uh, as you know, this camera is waterproof, but um, for me and my DJI Pocket 2, they, they are not waterproof. Oops, it's, it's really heavy. I am, I am hiding myself, and I'm running with the camera in low light. So just to give you a test of footage, if there's any motion blur. So don't ever forget. The Insta360 company was famous for their software, the ease of use, and the existed killer feature for 360 cameras. They all been packed inside this 1 inch 360 edition of the 1RS module system. So you should notice that with the Insta360 app, you get the shot lab, you get a lot of AI algorithm to help you uh, automatically reframe and to generate something uh, so help you go viral on social network. And don't forget with the Insta360 Studio, you get a lot of killer features such as a hardware acceleration, especially when you have an Apple Silicon. And you can reframe, and you have a fast and a fluent experience and editing, everything you have the professional needs on your desktop workflow. And overall, with the video, you can even export in ProRes format that is an editing friendly format that will also help you to get the best possible reframed video quality. So all of these killer feature on the app, the studio, the software, they all being packed inside this one inch imaging sensor. So once you have increased the sensor size by a factor of four, you end up with unlimited potential from this 
one inch 360 edition. And coming next, let's talk about the simple and easy, enjoyable workflow behind this One RS one inch 360 edition. You know, Insta 360 the company is famous for their software solution and their applications, their app, their studio software, the mobile workflow, desktop workflow, always one of the killer features behind this camera. So coming next, I would like to give you a quick guide, a quick tour uh, among all of these amazing features. So, so in this section, you will have a basic overview on this app and the studio software. Okay, turn on the Insta360 and turn on this One RS One Inch Edition. Uh, so to speak, uh, here you can simply Wi-Fi connect. So we automatically detect our previous camera, try to connect with this One RS Score module. Uh, so to speak. Uh, so before you get started, just turn on the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. So this app and the software gonna handshake via Bluetooth at first, and then, did you see that? This is a brand new the icon, the one inch edition. In the Explorer settings, uh, this is where you can learn and improve yourself. It is an Insta360 community. Well, in this in this section, you can uh, learn from the top-notch content creator from worldwide that also has Insta360 cameras. And you also get this official event that help you to earn gold so you get a discount in your next purchase on Insta360 online store. Well in the features and you can see the photos you can see all the amazing tiny planet uh, and reframe let's take a look at this one and you can also post your own spread of photos videos into the community. Uh, on the top you can see the tutorials that you can divide into different sections you have uh, the official tutorials designed specific for One RS, One X2, Go to One R, One X. Uh, on this beginning, I have also contributed some of the official uh, tutorials. Well, you can see some uh, creative take creative tricks about this uh, One RS and Go to. You can figure out my own Star Labs tutorial. And uh, for the activities, you can earn in the Gold Arena. You can earn the gold. Well. The gold could be dark. You can have a, your own discount in your online store. And you get to see all of this discount coupon code and all of these amazing, amazing deals for you. And waiting for you in the app as well. In the album menu, you can see you can have your own favorite when you have a tab on the star and you can divide the videos, the photos, the standard videos, the time lapse, the standard photos. HDR photos, so you, the, this software engineer has arranged really carefully for each individual customers. So this is actually a great, a great software, a great feature. Well, we can see in HDR photo, uh, I capture in a pure shot HDR. So you got to see uh, this one. Uh, this is only in JPEG format, but the result straight off from camera is pretty awesome. HDR render has been complete. Here you can see the before and after. Uh, you can see this auto frame has been complete. So you can have an auto reframe for photo and video. Uh, this saves you a lot of time and efforts. Uh, as you can see, uh, you have different options. We are in photos. You have snapshot, color plus, face filter, and a lot of more options. And the wide angle options, you also get the color plus that auto grading for you. So all of these features make this camera super simple and easy to use. Well, we don't want to dive too deep inside this workflow because there's a lot of great new tutorials coming for you uh, in the future of my, on my YouTube channel. Uh, on the videos, here you can see in this one, well, you can use Snappy Wizard, you can use Snappy Wizard, you can use Edit. So for Snappy Wizard, you can also refer to my previous section that I have made in-depth review and tutorials on the Snappy Wizard. This is one of the most exciting features for the One RS module system. Well, this is definitely great. And you can export, you have a lot of more options. Uh, you have stabilizing, the tracking, the color, uh, the no logo, and also the, the beautiful watermark. Okay, this is where you get in album section. And when you tap in the live preview menu, Okay, whether in the live preview you get to see my uh, you get to see my YouTube studio 
it's, it's a little bit messed up. So, but you get to see all the filters, the color, and uh, the GPS, the histogram. Or you can also see tutorials, and you also have plenty of options that waiting for you. So it's a very high efficient entrance for your control of your camera. And in the story menu, you can use Shot Lab, and you can also create stories in Shot Lab. There are a lot of great new options. So nose mode, the scene labs, the free throw, the everything works pretty fantastic on the OneRS module system. I can also create a story that this AI will help you do some rough cuts that sometimes you can just export and create your own stories. So this is a, with the help of AI, the camera has never been so simple and fun to use. And in settings menu, you have more options. Uh, you can set some settings, uh, camera storage, gyroscope. Uh, and uh, you also have some uh, more information about this. Shoot on watermark, I, I insist you turn it on as watermark because the watermark of the one inch 36 edition is quite iconic and beautiful. And in uh, about in 360, you can upgrade the firmware, upgrade the app, and uh, you get to know some entries of the official Facebook, Instagram, WeChat, and also in some diagnostic info. Yeah. That is a basic recap on this Insta360 app, one of the most exciting design in the 360 camera industry. So come next, let's go to a desktop and I want to show you a basic recap on this workflow on the Insta360 Studio 2022. Just uh, import all of the sample footage and just capture with the OneRS 1 in 36 edition. On the left side, you can see the raw format and the ISP. ISP is Insta360 JPEG format that has some proprietary parameters for stitching and post-processing. In the raw DNG format, the studio will auto apply this pure shot to give you the best overall imaging quality. You can turn it on or off to see this before and after comparison. Uh, personally speaking, I personally speaking, I really love the pure shot effect that get a premium imaging quality straight out from the camera. This is what fancy me most about the Insta360's camera. On the right side, you can see some uh, stitching sta stabilization type. You can automatically uh, correct the horizon in the photo or video. And the next one, you can have some stitching options that as dynamic stitch. Uh, I, normally, I use dynamic stitch for photos and optical flow for videos. And you can also cal calibrate the stitching parameters individually for your uh, every one of your frame. And that's it. That is a very powerful feature. And for the pure shot HDR, you can see this is the pure shot. This is a, the basic HDR effect. And the stack can merge uh, in between the three JPEG format. Uh, this is some oversaturated, uh, kind of like overcooked, I think. But the pure shot HDR just to give you amazing result straight out from the studio. You can see you can bring back all the detail and highlights and shadows. And uh, the, each one of the individual photos just cannot get enough detail from this shot. There's an EV1, EV0, uh, it's EV minus, and this is EV plus. Um, but watch out, I do have move a little bit and grass uh, moving slowly uh, above the wind, but the overall the pure HDR stack and emerge, they do have excellent result straight out from the studio. This is insane. I think this is what I love about this dual one inch sensor. Uh, it, it's just squeeze out almost all of the potential of this one in sensors. And the uh, next one you can see some, um, here you can see some videos that have been captured with this studio software. Uh, here you can see my keyframes on the timeline that I have add some uh, keyframe to reframe the shot. And as you can see, you can also enable some deep track and also add some time shift to speed up or add some slow motion effect. Uh, on the right side, you can also have the ratio option, the snapshot, and uh, full screen settings. On the right side, don't forget, there is a stabilization type. If you turn around direction lock, it is work fantastic for your vlogging with 360 cameras. And uh, stitching, you do have more options for optical flow for video, dynamic stitch for photo, and you can stitch uh, with lens guard or without, or you can customize the stitching settings. On these settings, you have some media post-processing that's Color Plus or Aqua Vision. But Color Plus, personally speaking, is a little bit oversaturated, so I normally turn it off and add a little bit of sharpness and saturation in post in the Premiere software. And to have more options on the audio, 
the native audio quality is fantastic, but you have more options. You can uh, focus the voice or uh, reduce the noise in ambient sound. So Interspersion just have a major progress on the audio quality, especially on this one and two six edition. And the logo, you can add your logos, and uh, you do have some virtual copy of this project to have the different ray frame videos from a symbol as the same 360 video. So this is definitely a very clever alternative to ray frame multiple shot from a single 360 shot. And overall, you can see the resolution is uh, 9144, and uh, uh, when you shoot at 25fps, but when you shoot at 30fps, the long edge is uh, 5888. So the overall the bit rate is over 120 megabit per second. So it's a very high quality. And don't forget, you can export in the ProRes Photo 2. That is a premium high quality. And you can change the resolution to 4K. So normally I export at 4K uh, ProRes Photo 2 for the best uh, potential for post process in our nonlinear editing software. And you can export in reframe or 360 photo at the same time. And you can also reframe edit the 360 video just like a normal video in the second frame that is a 360 view so just edit uh, as a normal video another interesting fact on insta 360 studio software that it is compatible with all the 360 videos format no matter you shot with insta 360 or a sata or cool cam no matter which camera you have uh, the 360 videos the stage 360 footage can all be imported and reframe without watermark. This is what I love about the Studio software because it provides a fantastic solution. Well, this software is so powerful that some of them could be immigrated to Insta360 ecosystem. So this is a really powerful Studio desktop workflow. And don't forget, it also has a non-stitching workflow with Adobe Premiere plugin that you can edit without stitching. So this is a basic overview on Insta360 Studio 2022 together with the one inch 3 edition that don't forget with the studio workflow, you can squeeze out the best imaging quality from the dual one inch sensor. Well, time to wrap up on the One RS one inch 360 edition. This is definitely a big milestone for the whole 360 camera industry and also for Insta360, the company as well. This remarks a new era of 360 camera design and manufacture. And I'm really curious about the futuristic product that designed by Insta360. So once they have been packed a dual one inch sensor on the One RS modular system, it's hard to imagine what they can pack inside the next generation of the Insta360 One X2. So definitely we do have a lot more to expect in the future. And uh, just from, and from the real world sample footage, this dual one inch sensor just superb from imaging quality, photo quality, video quality, and audio quality as well. And overall, the workflow is as simple as pie. So for wide range of customers, you get the same workflow, but it end up with premium quality. The last question about this camera is, what is target for? So why Insta360 designed this one inch 360 edition? For those of you, who want to get the best performance, the best low light performance, the best photo quality, the best video quality, and the best expandability because One RS is an open system as well. This is actually a part of the One RS module system, but this lens is quite different. And I'm really looking forward to their future product. And I'm really excited about the One RS module system. And I think, the One R and One RS will definitely be even more successful in the future. So that is a basic recap and in-depth review on the One RS One Inch 360 Edition. I hope you can learn something from this video. And if you do find this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So stay safe. Talk to you soon. Bye.